In this short video, I want to discuss whether or not uh, paying Google for advertising has any impact on SEO. So this is a very contentious topic. Despite Google having a clear official position, which is paying for advertising in search or any other network does not impact your SEO performance for your business website, a lot of people still think that that's uh, BS, basically, and there's some sort of conspiracy that if you pay Google uh, for advertising, you're going to perform better on organic search. So what is the truth? Well, what I want to do today is just share my experience. And I'm going to use an example to sort of explain what I think happens when people talk about uh, paid search or paid Google advertising benefiting SEO performance. So as I mentioned before, the official position of Google is that paying for advertising in search or any other network as part of Google Ads does not have any impact on SEO performance. And I agree with that. I do not believe there is a direct relationship. Um, you know, if you yeah, are advertising in Google, that doesn't mean you're gonna get a leg up in terms of your organic performance for the keywords you're targeting. But there is a indirect factor to consider. And this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. So I'll give you an example and we'll kind of walk through this live. So what I've done is I've searched for luxury accommodation in Queenstown. Now, Queenstown, if you're not familiar with it, it's kind of like the uh, adventure capital of New Zealand. It's very popular with tourists. You know, rich people fly in there on their private jets. And, uh, you know, people come from Australia and Asia and all over the world to go to uh, Queenstown to do all sorts of fun things like bungee jumping and luging and, um, you know, going blasting down the river on a jet boat. It's it's a pretty cool place. Um, you know, I've, I've been there quite a few times. And Queenstown is, is famed for having some pretty good higher end accommodation as far as accommodation goes in New Zealand. So let's say that I wanted to um, do well in Google search for luxury accommodation in Queenstown. Let's just pretend that we're running this particular uh, hotel here, the QT Queenstown. Now I happen to know this hotel. I've, I've been there in the past for a friend's wedding actually. Lovely hotel. Uh, QT is like a, a good higher end kind of hotel brand. I think it might be Australian, but it's kind of besides the point. Um, if I am QT Queenstown and I want to get people looking for luxury accommodation in Queenstown, well, obviously I'm advertising for that keyword. I've shown up here number one for luxury accommodation in Queenstown. Now, showing up number one for luxury accommodation in Queenstown is not going to benefit my organic performance. This is very clearly an ad. You can see it says ad here. You can see the site links and so on. Uh, and actually, if you scroll down the first page of Google, you can see, uh, at least for my particular search, that it's not anywhere on the first page organically. So it doesn't appear, does it, that uh, paying Google for the keyword luxury accommodation Queenstown in the paid search context is having a direct SEO benefit for QT hotels. Where the benefit comes from is indirectly. And what I mean by this is I've just searched for luxury accommodation Queenstown. The first thing that's come up is QT Queenstown. It's quite a memorable brand name. Uh, you know, straight away, in effect, the results of the search with QT Queenstown being at the top have kind of planted in my mind the QT Queenstown brand as a luxury accommodation option in Queenstown. So when I'm researching for hotels to go and stay in a new location, uh, you know, I'll go through and, and, and make various searches. I'm not really a luxury accommodation customer, more, you know, uh, family friendly accommodation or whatever the case may be. And some of those brands will stick in your mind. And then what someone might do is they might do the research process. They've, they've looked at a few different hotels. They've, they've looked at booking.com and TripAdvisor. And you go, hey, I need to book something. What comes to mind? Oh, that's right. The QT Queenstown came to mind. I'm going to go and search that because that's the brand I saw. And then what you might do is actually wind up going through and clicking on the organic listing that shows up number one for the QT Queenstown website. And here it is. Um, I'm obviously not going to go and book anything just for the purpose of showing you. But the, the key principle here is that indirectly that appearance in Google search under the keyword luxury accommodation Queenstown planted the seed in my mind of QT Queenstown being a good luxury Queenstown accommodation option. And so then I've gone and looked it up directly. And I believe that's a lot of what happens with paid Google advertising. When you get this uh, scenario where somebody basically goes and buys advertising and then they see an increase in their organic performance, probably what's happening is a brand effect, uh, basically. Not too dissimilar to when businesses take out billboard advertising or advertising on the back of a bus or flyers or newspaper ads or TV ads or anything along those lines. Uh, basically, more potential customers are becoming aware of your brand and they're going to look you up directly. And if I think about projects I've worked on where I've kind of audited search performance and looked at businesses that have run, say, Google Ads campaigns and seen an increase in organic search traffic through analytics and gone and dug into what's going on in Google Search Console, almost always, I'd say nine times out of 10, 
it's you're seeing more branded search coming through because more people are simply aware of your option. They're not necessarily searching anymore on a generic luxury accommodation Queenstown basis where you're not looking for a specific provider, you're looking for options. You're thinking, hey, I know about QT Queenstown. I've seen it mentioned in Google or I've seen a display ad for it or whatever the case may be. I'm going to look that up directly. And so what you have is an indirect effect. I do not believe that there is a direct relationship between advertising and Google, particularly Google search and getting better organic performance. I think that, you know, is too risky a thing for Google to do. It would be too transparent, too visible. They'd run the risk of some kind of, you know, big antitrust type lawsuit or something like that. Uh, you know, although they seem to be encountering those problems all the time anyway. But I just don't think it's the kind of thing they're doing. Instead, what you see is an indirect relationship where if you are paying for advertising, whether in search or in a different context, what is actually happening is that uh, indirect effect of your brand is becoming more known in the market to people looking for your type of product or service. And the outcome is more people searching directly for your brand, more branded organic search traffic, uh, and that's where having things like Google Search Console set up is really beneficial, so you can track that over time. And this is what uh, people are getting confused about. So I'm keen to hear your take on it, but as I said, I don't think that Google has uh, got any kind of benefit placed on paying them for advertising in terms of organic search performance directly. The only other thing to consider is whether positive signals from people arriving on your site and interacting with it are kind of yielding some kind of SEO gain. But once again, the most likely scenario in my experience is simply that indirect brand awareness effect. Your advertising in Google search or otherwise means more people become aware of your business. And through that, they search for your business more frequently. And then they go and click on your organic listing that's much more likely to show up because you're more likely to show for your brand name than a generic keyword. And then that results in more organic traffic. And unless you dig into that, you think, hey, maybe there is a sort of direct relationship here, whereas typically there isn't. So you're keen to hear your take on it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.